Hi, this is Dr. Henderson. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be explaining what's called a robotic assisted laparoscopic sacrocopalpexy. All those fancy words just mean lifting up your pelvis and all the organs in your pelvis so you're back to normal. A main reason for this problem is you have complete pelvic organ prolapse. This is often seen when you've had many kids or children and done vaginal births. It's also very commonly seen when you've had a procedure such as a hysterectomy where you have these awesome big huge broad ligaments that are holding everything up and in order to get your uterus out of there the surgeon has to cut through those broad ligaments to get your uterus and cervix out. When they do that, you lose a very big support system to your pelvic floor. So we have to somehow recreate that so we can lift all the organs back up so it's easier to go to the bathroom, both urination or defecation or having a bowel movement, as well as just not feeling like everything's falling out when you're doing heavy lifting or exercise. The other thing is you don't always have to have a hysterectomy. Sometimes those ligaments can just be very, very loose so you can have a lot of less elastic elasticity in those where everything kind of sags down and that can just be from having children. So we can still do the procedure whether or not you've had this hysterectomy done. The procedure's done in the operating room. It's about a two hour procedure or less. I make five little incisions in your belly, all about dime size. And we go in and we actually find the vaginal stump or the end where they cut out the uterus. Or again, if you have your uterus still intact, we'd go below the cervix and find the top area of the vagina, bottom area. We pull the bladder off top, the rectum off bottom, and then we get this little piece of mesh called a Y mesh because it's shaped in a Y. We suture the anterior arm to the anterior wall of the vagina and the posterior wall to the posterior wall of the vagina. And then we tuck everything underneath this neat tissue that all of us have called our peritoneum that protects our bowels from anything. And we don't want our bowels or anything exposed to this mesh. So we tuck everything underneath and then we fix it to your sacral bone. Your sacral bone has this very prominent area that sticks out right over top where that vaginal stump is going to be. So now Actually, it's a great place to put the under end of the mesh up and it's like you have this little hand pulling up all your pelvic organs again. It's a very successful procedure. Afterwards, probably 90-95% of my patients go home same day. There's not a ton of pain associated with it. It's more just the little poke holes that we put in your belly. Other things that patients always ask about is, is there any complications from mesh? I've never seen any. There's always that possibility. They used to leave the mesh exposed to the bowel and people were getting bowel obstruction or problems with that. But now that we tuck everything underneath and we close this peritoneal tissue or this lining over top the mesh, we just don't see those complications anymore. We don't see erosion. We don't ever have to go back in and take out the mesh. We are very careful with sterile techniques so we don't get infections. So afterwards, when you talk about what's recovery going to be like, the biggest thing we tell patients is for the next two to four weeks, just try not to do any heavy lifting, anything more than a gallon of milk, because what I don't want is for you to pop out a hernia out of one of these poke hole sites. It really has nothing to do with the surgery. You can't mess that up doing heavy exercise or things like that. We usually tell patients no intercourse for about two to four weeks just until things kind of heal up, but we're not making any incisions in the vaginal area, so there isn't much to heal there. So if you get back to intercourse sooner in two weeks um, or so, you still should be okay and you're not gonna damage or hurt or traumatize anything that we fixed in there. Other than that, it's a great procedure. Not a lot of complications from it. Blood loss is usually about 20 milliliters, so it's nothing now with the robotic system. And again, majority of my patients go home the same day. I look forward to helping you out with this. This is something that I actually went and did a robotics fellowship in, and we did a lot of reconstructive work when we did that fellowship. So this is one of the things that I learned how to do to help out my female patients. I also had a urogynecology fellowship during my residency that was a part of it. And when the fellows left, the residents got to do all the work. So this is something that I did a lot of doing female urology and female reconstruction. I look forward to helping you. We'll answer more questions that you might have besides what I've talked about in this video before your surgery, at the time of your surgery, and we'll see you then. Thanks.